Like, this is the kind of stuff that makes people feel like we're living in a clown world, right? You know, the idea now that I've got the leader of a country, well, the pound shop leader of a country, in the shape of Nicola Sturgeon, right, saying that she's pardoning witches, she's apologising to people who died 300 years ago. You've got another MP there who's saying this is the biggest issue of the day. I tell you what, I'm absolutely certain, Rebecca, that those people in her constituency who can't afford food, whose kids have got a terrible education under Queen Nick, the NHS is absolutely knackered up there, alcohol and drug dependency. I tell you what, Rebecca, I bet they're so glad that she's pardoned witches. Yeah. Exactly that. That's why I say that I am struggling to care. You know, history and all the rest of it, yes, we should care in some respects. But right now, in this day and age, no, I don't think this is what we should be doing and what we should be focusing our time on. But it's Nicola Sturgeon, does what she wants. Yeah, she, she does. Zerafina, look, I'll throw it back to you. I mean, look, to be honest with you, did you feel, you know, we're, did you actually give a, a toss about whether or not Nicola Sturgeon had pardoned witches? You don't strike me as a woman who needs to be pardoned by Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, it's. Uh, I, I think I'm definitely not a spokesperson for the SNP. I'm not a spokesperson for Nicola no. and I'm not a spokesperson for um, if, if, uh, any politician. Um, no. I, I, I kind of just do what I do um, for my own reasons. Uh, but, you know, having looked into it more and having kind of reflected on it today, I can understand some of the reasons that this is important to a lot of people and I can understand some of the good that can come from it. Yeah. And I completely agree that, you know, there are pressing issues that need to be looked at. But, you know, we're, we're talking about righting historic wrongs so that we can lead by example. And so... For example, you know that witchcraft is still something that is uh, illegal in many countries today. So I yes. think what the idea is is that we are leading by example by being a forward-thinking country. Yeah. And you know, for for personal reasons, I think that there's it's such a misunderstood witchcraft and which is such a misunderstood concept today. You know, we, we don't. I mean, I've kind of got the the black lace on tonight just just for a bit of fun, but. Generally, we are normal, everyday people mm. who simply want to have a bit more control over... Do, do, you, do you have a normal job? Uh, I, I do, but I am also... Um, I also have my, my own business, which is right. uh, Scottish Witch. Which is our us. Which is our me. Good. Uh, is, that actually, is that what it's called? No. <laughs> oh, OK. Gosh, I'll tell you what, I thought, I thought I got that right there for a second. There we go. That would have been set up for the books.